Hey everyone, we're here for another quick conversation for the long haul of leadership with Todd Bolsinger. And uh, we're going to look at a quote from uh, episode 173, The Art of Interpreting Culture. This is Justin Bailey. Um, He said, you never go to another culture where God is not already present and at work. You never go to another culture where God is not already present and at work, which seems somewhat contrary to the whole uh, mission, colonial way of thinking of things, maybe um, taking Jesus to this other place, uh, taking the gospel to this other place. So, Todd, maybe the question to start with is just how do we reconcile that? If we need to take Jesus somewhere, how is it that God could already be present and at work there? Yeah, yeah. So obviously, you, it's not a surprise to you that I actually really agree with Justin here. I, I really believe that God's already at work. It's it's the God in whom we live and move and have our being, right? It's Paul yeah. seeing uh, this, the, this monument, the statue to an unknown God, and saying to people, let me introduce you to this God you do not know. And I actually think that the good news of the gospel is literally like where we are going to people who are already experienced something of what it is to be human, uh, to be animated, to be alive, to have longings, to love and say to them, let me tell you the good news, the good news, not good advice, the good news, which is the God who animates all of that wants to know you personally and wants you to, wants you to respond to that God personally. Right. And what it does for us is it changes the tone and the tenor. It makes us much yes. more respectful. I mean, it's yeah. just, um, I, I just think that one of the most powerful things we can do is to recognize that mm-hmm. we are always on the heels of a God who is yeah. in front of us. Yeah. And that yeah. um, and that it makes us much more respectful and open. We start by listening yeah. and yeah. Um, we start by acknowledging where they're already um, yeah. living in this world, this good world that God right. made. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think when we um, go into a, a, a new context or a new relationship, assuming that God is not there, we start with a wall, right? There's a wall mm-hmm. there already. And um, and it, it, so it, it just puts a barrier between us. If we can go in open, um, uh, who uh, there's a joy in the relationship, I think. I'm, I think about uh, a guy in our church, if I may share this here, um, a guy in our church named Ahad. He's a refugee from uh, Afghanistan and has been Muslim, I, I believe, all his life and came because he connected with someone who goes to our church and... Um, and that has been one of the most life-giving things, uh, that relationship with him in our church, seeing what God has already been doing in his life. And, well, um, all right, this is me. This is just me. We practice an open table at our church. I say, if you're a human being, you're welcome to come to this table. And that first mm-hmm. Sunday that he was there, I said, you don't even I say you don't have to be spiritual enough. You don't have to be religious enough. You don't even have to be Christian enough. You are welcome. And he looked at the person he was sitting next to. He goes, I'm going. And, um, <laughs> right. And that was, that opened up this beautiful relationship um, because God mm. was already doing something in his life. And now mm. he's in a Zoom group uh, with other Farsi speaking people um, reading the Gospel of Luke together. And, mm. um, and it's beautiful, right? But I think, yeah. like you're saying, when we go, assuming that there is, um, that God is not already at work, well, then we come with all of our tools, right? To try to get them to be what we think they should be rather than letting God do yeah. what God is yeah. already doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, uh, that's a beautiful story. It's a great example. Yeah. I, so I think about it this way, very similarly. Um, mm-hmm. Have you ever walked into some place where you really didn't understand what was going on? Like, 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 like my wife is an artist. She's a professional artist. Mm-hmm. And I can remember going with her to museums and, I, and like, you know, like a lot of people just going by all the stuff yeah. to get to the famous one. Like the first time mm-hmm. we went to the Louvre, you know, where's yeah. the Mona Lisa? Yeah. And she's like, stop, <laughs> you are missing it. You yeah. are missing all yes. this. Yeah. What I needed wasn't someone to, I needed someone to point out to me and help me see what was already yeah. there. Yeah. And I often yeah. think that our job as Christians is to be docents of the Holy Spirit. It's to be like a docent in a museum. like saying, So saying to somebody like, oh my gosh, tell me what your experience of God, tell me what you want. Let me help you yeah. give, a, give you a glimpse. Let me give you a different picture. Like yeah. the scriptures yeah. are literally, um, John Calvin said, they're the spectacles of the spirit. Mm. They help you see what you're already experiencing. Yeah. So let me show you what the gospel of Luke would say to you. Yeah. 
as a person yeah. who longs and hungers for yeah. God, right? Let me tell yeah. you about that, right? That yeah. that becomes a totally different conversation than assuming that they're ignorant or they don't know or they're not experiencing right. or that God's right. not there or that God doesn't show up till you show up. Oh my gosh. Right, <laughs> like, right, like, right. Yeah. And, and, and I, and I think say, because we're talking, about, let me just say this, because we're talking yeah. about leadership, leaders often think that's your job. Like I think leader, you know, we often talk about the fact that the best leaders go into a place listening. You're listening yes. for what's already yes. happening. And in adaptive leadership, you are trying to help people adapt the most precious thing that is about them to this changing world. Yeah. And, uh, which includes affirming the things that are already most important to yes. them. Yeah. And, it, and then think about what has to be let go yeah. and what has to be adapted and what has to change. Yeah. 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 I like to think about, especially in these um, disorienting kinds of times and contexts, is uh, not so much thinking about what do we need to do in order to do what God wants us to do, but what is God already doing out there? And yeah. let's find out what that is and then join God in whatever it is that God is right. doing, because God is already at work out there. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Well, good. So here's the quote uh, one more time. This is from uh, Justin Bailey, episode 173. He said, you never go to another culture where God is not already present and at work.